kind of give you an update. Um, this is where we're at. I've got uh, the axe head started. What I did was um, kind of saw cut the shoulders here a little bit to the depth about where just kind of eyeballing it. I mean again in the woods everything is done by, by eyeballing or sight. So now I just fit the axe head until I get it all the way down onto the shoulders. And you can see where it's rubbing here so I just take my knife right here and just very carefully shave it until I get that mark removed. And I just go on down on down the shaft that away or the, the head that away. That way I should get a tight fit on the head. And then when I put a wedge in it, I saw cut this end here, right here, through the middle, and stick a wedge in there, then uh, should have a, a very tight fitting axe head. So anyway, that's uh, that's where we're at. Just kind of give you an update. Uh, my smudge fire's out, but the mosquitoes are not bothering me too bad, so kind of let it lie for a while. May make a cup of tea later, but it'll be easy to get it started again. So anyway, stay with me. Uh, we're going to work on this a little bit more. And, and, uh, and I'll get back with you. Well, I had to build a smudge fire back up. The mosquitoes got too bad. So, anyway. Um, this is where we're at. Got the hex head down tight. So, at this point now, I need to just tidy it up a little bit on the shoulders. And we're going to cut a, a notch right through here to put a wedge. So, uh, stick with me. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm working on here. And uh, then uh, we'll try to conserve some batteries. So, I'm going to move the camera back over here. Kind of give you an idea of how tight this axe head is uh, already. Uh, it's, I've got it on there. I mean, it's, it's pretty tight. And then once we put a wedge in there, it'll just be, it'll just get a lonely tighter. So, that's what we got. I haven't sharpened this knife. Um, well, I used it all day yesterday and I still haven't sharpened it. So, it's still. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not, but it was still shave. <coughs> You may say, well, Will, I don't believe you that you haven't sharpened that knife. So, well, that's okay if you don't believe me. All I can say is just get you one and try it yourself. What I used it on yesterday was that, that handle for that hook knife, or crook knife, and that was right out of red oak. So that wasn't no soft material.
rough shape here. Right now it's pretty big for my hand. I like big big handles, but this one is just a little bit too big. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working on it for a while, and uh, we're gonna put you on standby so that it doesn't use up all my battery. I've ordered me a solar charger, so kind of waiting to go up river on that, so I don't get up there and batteries run out. say is will your knife do that after two days of use so anyway, I'm gonna put you on standby and uh, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute I was uh, using a knife as a draw knife and I thought maybe I'd show you what I was doing just took a piece of what looks like red oak a knotted piece and drove the knife into it jamming the The axe stave up against the tree here. Move the camera down. They just jam the, the axe handle up against the tree, kind of hold it. You just get some pretty big chunks off of it like that. There. Gonna do this with a bow what you do is you notch your a notch in here with your axe kind of hold it in place but not gonna be doing it that long just want to take some of the meat off Starting to look like something. Still a little tough. I want to leave it a little fat right there, so I'm gonna choke on it up on it to carve a little bit. That's something for me to grab onto. That's why I put the paracord on this wetlings. It's just 
gives it a little bit more cushion and uh, a little bit more meat for me to grab onto. When the wood wants to splinter and break out like that, you have to come from the opposite direction. Because wood grain, it kind of kind of grows in different different ways, especially if you run across an old wound or not. So you just gotta take what the wood will give you. Anyway, we're getting very close here. I want to want it with a little meat on it, so we just kind of finesse it a little bit more, and, and I'll get back. We trying to save batteries. Oh, um, how I could hammer this in? I just stuck it up on a stump, and whacked it. Most of my knives, I have a little hammer pole on the top of them, so you could. Do that without damaging your handle. So, anyway, I'm gonna put you on standby. We'll be back with you in just a little while.